Hi, Mr. Waltman, uh, Senior Project Coordinator, back uh, with, um, this would be part four, uh, but it would be covering task three, the electronic portfolio. So uh, let me talk a little bit about the electronic portfolio. Um, it is uh, basically a website that you will maintain uh, all of your senior project uh, documentation. So that is going to include uh, the proposal and all your time logs, uh, all the hours that you work on your uh, project, all the meetings that you have with your mentor, they should be documented too. And then however you uh, stipulated in your proposal that you would document your project, whether that's uh, using video or, or pictures and journals, blogs, uh, combination, uh, that has to be in your electronic portfolio as well. Uh, as well as some other things that we'll go over in a, in a few minutes. The, uh, the uh, software that is being used to um, build your site, build your electronic portfolio, is called Google Sites. And you're going to use Google Sites. It's part of our Google Apps for Education uh, software package that uh, we get from Google. And uh, I'll be posting some video tutorials on how to uh, uh, open that account as well as uh, creating pages, editing pages, uh, doing things to kind of personalize it and make it your own. So you'll be using Google Sites. So the, the sooner you get started on kind of building that site, uh, the better. Okay, so let's. Uh, you should be on page uh, 16 of your manual if you're uh, going along here with these uh, videos. And task three, the electronic portfolio. On this page, you'll see a screenshot of uh, what an electronic portfolio might look like. So we just kind of build a skeleton of a site. Uh, it's not done uh, real well, but it gives you uh, more of a visual of what it, it should look like. So there's a link on this page. I'm not going to go to it now, but uh, you can go to this link. Uh, and you want to take a look at the navigation menu and how that's put together and how that matches up with uh, some of the requirements uh, for your electronic portfolio. So let's take a look at the next page. Here is the checklist. Uh, you need a home page, an inviting, creating, uh, creative home page. And like I said, the sooner you start building this, uh, the better. The navigation bar, uh, which is essentially the table of contents of where your readers are going to find everything. And I should mention that um, Obviously, you will have access to this. You will have to submit your link uh, through Moodle, just like you do your proposal, to the advisory board. So the advisory board member who read your proposal will look at your electronic portfolio. And uh, other people that will see it is uh, really it's published uh, globally. Uh, once everybody's done, we publish all the links on our district website and your mentor should uh, be able to see. You should share the link with your mentor and our community judges who look at your electronic um, or come and look at your presentations or listen to your presentations will have a chance to view your portfolios uh, beforehand. So, all right, back to this list, navigation bar, your proposal, uh, a mentor photograph, a mentor meeting logs, so anytime you have a meeting, if you have this set up already, come in, put in the date, the time, what was accomplished, all that kind of stuff. A photograph of your student, uh, of you and your mentor together. So a lot of portfolios were not approved the first time because students only had a picture of their mentor and not them together. So make sure you take care of that uh, fairly early too. Uh, detailed time logs. So this, is the, this has to equal the 15 hours. And uh, documentation, I talked about that before. Product reflection, this is a, an essay, a 500-word essay. And the next page of the manual uh, addresses that more specifically. And then a thank you page. Uh, and um, this is due the week of April 25th to the 29th. So the same time that your mentor evaluation is due, this is due as well. If we go to the next page, uh, I mentioned one of the pages in your portfolio, probably one of the last things that you do is a product reflection essay. And you pick four of these questions, or at least four of these questions, and you respond to them thoughtfully and uh, 
you should be able to get to uh, a 500 word limit for that essay. If you need to respond to more questions to get to 500 words, that's fine too. Uh, but uh, this is also a required element of your portfolio. The rubric, uh, distinguished, proficient, competent, below standard. You have to be at least competent, uh, meet all of these requirements. Uh, but the first thing that the advisory board will look for is completeness. So if something is missing on that checklist, you're going to get it back until you complete it. So um, you know, just avoid that and make sure that you go through the checklist and everything is there and uh, then it can be uh, graded. So we're looking at quality of responses, uh, appearance, and personal pride and effort. Like I said, some of the Google site tutorials that I'll add to uh, this YouTube channel or this YouTube playlist will have some very specific tutorials about uh, how to uh, make your ePortfolio your own in terms of uh, themes and colors and, and that kind of stuff. All right, so that's the rubric. And uh, that's it for this video. Uh, next video and the last video for the manual will be on task for the presentation.